post-workout video. Yeah. <laughs> it's my first workout day of the year. Yep. We are oh, four days into the year. Did my first workout. Mm -hmm. And oh, hot doggity diggy. It was a good one. Um, I really, uh, well, first of all, I'm having some issues here. So I had to like lower my weight and modify because I don't know what the heck's happening there. But it was load bearing on that was a little hard. Um, it's okay. Kept going. But what I really loved was how our trainer is so amazing with um, rolling in everything. Like we've got fitness and nutrition and um, community support and also just the mind and the spirit. And he was talking about our um, treating our bodies and loving ourselves where we're at now, you know, not waiting until we get to some set amazing goal or something because we need to appreciate every moment that we have just like living in the now um and i thought wow it's kind of like our bodies are a work of art but not like a sculpture where you just you work really hard you get to the point and then you're done no it's more like a bonsai tree where you're constantly giving it attention in the areas that it's needed and i thought that was so beautiful and here was a little bit of just like what I love, this was the cool down, um, what our trainer was sharing at the end of the cool down. And I love these, these mindsets and supports and um, just the way the trainers um, address us has been one of the major game changers for me since I joined Beachbody in 2012. Um, I have I've had so much positivity and um, better insight in ways to look at things and focus on things um, that have helped me overcome a lot of challenges and has made me stronger to deal with even bigger challenges that come at me. Um, I don't fold as easy as I used to um, and really it's a lot of it's been working on mind, body, and spirit and it takes a lot to do all that and having a great community to work in and reach out to um, because what you surround yourself with is, you know, it's what you, what you live. So if you're hanging around a lot of like, um, go getter people that, you know, are supportive and loving and, um, driven, then you too will feel that. And it becomes the norm for you as well in your life. So check out, I just check out Amala. I'm going to tag it on to the end of this and talk to you guys later because I really got it at the moment. I've got to go talk to the contractors that are working downstairs. And in our child's <laughs> pose position. And child, where are you going? And go. She's trying to leave. <laughs> Let me finish. So again, you know, we, we're on this aesthetic culture. We have this obsession over it. But everyone has beautiful bodies. Doesn't matter. Females who lift, who have strong arms. Don't judge anyone. Don't just live and love yourself for who you are. And so that's the only message I want to give you guys for these next week that we have. But continue to keep cherishing and loving your body. A better mindset, you're going to have a better body. When you start thinking about that, it's just like a domino effect. When you think better and you have a clearer mind about what you want and your goals and your whys, it's just your actions that help you get there. All right, team? We're gonna finish up in a cobra. So we're gonna push all the way up. And then what I want you to do, anyone have